Hi and welcome to this new video about YubiKey in which I'll describe how you can use your GPG functionalities of GitHub to sign your commit in Git. And this is important because with signing commit, you can ensure that the identity, the, the, your commit cannot be forged by anyone else because anyone else have access to the key that is stored inside your YubiKey. So when the key is, um, it's used to sign a commit, that commit is uniquely uh, assigned to you and no one can claim that you had made some commit without the original key. And this solves a problem where when you configure your local Git environment, you can always choose a username and an email that you want. There is no uh, check. So the only thing that you can do to make your commit uniquely assignable to you is sign the commit. And thanks to YubiKey, it is really simple because you can only, uh, you need only to touch your key and your key is secure because you can store inside your physical key. I'm gonna show the process for Windows and uh, for Linux, it's almost the same. In Windows, it's uh, maybe a little bit more complicated. So you first need to have installed Windows new GPG and usually I install Cleopatra and all the PGP tools. And then the first thing you need to do is globally configure in Git the program that will be used to sign all your commit. As you can see, it's a simple Git config global and you set the option GPG program to be this specific program, program that is the GPG version of Windows and you just need to this is the simple command in which you configure the GPG program to be your local installation of uh, GPG X programming Windows. So it is a, a very simple setting and it's the first step to sign your commit with your YubiKey. Then I usually add the commit GPG sign to true. So Git automatically sign all the commit without using the dash capital S option in commit. So I cannot forget to sign a commit. So since it's so easy to sign a commit with YubiKey, there's absolutely no reason why not to sign every commit in this computer. It is really easy. So that's an option I strongly suggest and I immediately set in my computer. Then you need to use your GPG uh, program to list the secret key uh, using this command line. And this allows you to um, view all the key that you have inside your computer. And in this situation, uh, the output is in Italian, sorry, but um, it's uh, listing my serial number of my um, board. So it is using uh, what is at a smart card. It's my YubiKey, but um, the GPG program sees uh, as a smart card. And so I have uh, some key that is an ED25519 key and it's um, correct. It's, uh, it's expired in 2029, so it's good to use. Now, uh, as you can see, this is the identifier of your key. The first part before the slash is the type of the key. So you just need to take the second part after the slash and using a git config again to configure the key that you will use to sign your commit. And so it's git config dash dash global user dot signing key and the ID of the key. And that's the third, um, the, 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 the third specific instruction to configure your GPG. Now I've simply modified the readme file. This is a very simple um, repository uh, with uh, only one uh, simple commit in a readme file. So I'm simply uh, modify a readme file. I'm going to commit the modification with the standard git commit dash M. So it will include uh, AAM, so it will include all the modified files. So it's a standard commit instruction by Git. And as you can see, a uh, pop-up comes from uh, GPG with a really simple UI where you need to type the pin of the key because as you know, the YubiKey protect the pin or protect your private key, GPG and SSH key with a pin. So if a user enter too many times wrong pin, that key will be made uh, not usable anymore. And this is a protection in case you lost the key. If you wait too much time to enter the pin, as you can see, because I'm recording, 
it goes uh, into an error because uh, the commit cannot be done if the GPG sign is not available because I've asked with the commit GPG sign true that all of my commit should be uh, signed. So if there is any problem during the sign operation, the commit will be uh, rejected. Now I've simply insert the correct pin and touched my key and the commit is okay. So if I issue a... Now I've inserted the correct pin and then I've touched my YubiKey. So actually the commit goes okay. So I can use my git log and verify that indeed I've done a second commit. But actually with a simple log, it seems that the commit is equal to the other commit, is equal to the first commit. And the first commit was done before I've configured everything. So where is the difference? You can use the option show signature in for, from your git log command, and this will instruct the git log command to include also signature information for the commit, and it's a human readable um, signature. So if I press enter, I can verify that the first commit is indeed not signed, but the first commit is signed with a timestamp and it is sent using the key, uh, and that's the public part of my key and the signature is valid from Gian Maria Ricci and it's a demo key. So as you can see, I can sign a commit in Git and this is important because no one except me can sign with that specific private key corresponding to this public key and the key is super secure because it's inside my YubiKey and it's a YubiKey that I always uh, set with me, I have with me, and if someone, if, if I stole, if someone stole the key or if I lost the key, the attacker can have only eight tentative to guess the pin and then the key is unusable. So that's a good way to make sure that you can verify your commit. If you use the cat file utility to uh, dump the binary content of a commit, in, this time I passed head, you can see that the commit is a standard git commit with the tree, parent, author, committer, and then you have another section called GPG sig, where you can find a standard GPG signature of the commit. And this is the raw format. So usually you are not going to look at the signature with this format. You are going to look the signature with the option I show you before in the git log. But how, why it's important. Now, after the commit is signed, I need to go to GitHub and tell GitHub that the public key corresponding to the private key is one of my valid keys. So um, using Cleopatra in Windows, you go to the smart card so you can see everything um, stored inside your YubiKey and you have the keys for signature, encryption or authentication. And it's important you need to take the key for signature and you press show detail. The show detail will show you the detail about the key. And so you can select, uh, this is the key um, on my YubiKey and you can press export. And this will allow you to create a simple UI where you have the textual format of your uh, YubiKey. And this is the public key clearly because it's not a uh, private. The private key cannot be exported. So it's securely stored inside your YubiKey. Now you go on the setting of your account you, you select SSH and GPG keys. And uh, as you can see, I've already added a previously generated GPG key. So you can have uh, how many GPG key you want. And if you use um, YubiKey and like me prefer to store the GPG on the YubiKey, it's normal to have more than one key because I have one key that is securely uh, and always attached to my primary workstation. And then I have another YubiKey in my keychain so I can sign my commit um, on mobility. And that's the reason why you can add uh, how many GPG keys you want. To add the GPG key, you simply press new GPG key. You passed all the content exported by Cleopatra and you give a name of the GPG key and you press add. And it tells me that the K already exists and public key already exists because that was already added. Now, if you go to the repository and look at the commit, you can see that the first commit has no sign of verification and the second commit has uh, one unverified tag, tag. And if you click, this user has not yet uploaded the public signing key. And uh, that's a common question that arises. Why had I signed my commit and the commit is still unverified? And the most common error is you do not have the same email in your uh, git config 
uh, as the email used for the GPG. So it's probably that you use, uh, we all have more than one email. So it's probably that you have used one email for your GPG key and the commit is signed with a different uh, email. And that's the most common reason why you get the unverified. And this is indeed the situation. If you see the output of show signature again, you see that the signature is signed by yubikey test demo at outlook.com while this commit author is another email and that's probably the most common error you have. So this is the, the, uh, the key I'm using for that specific GitHub account. And this is my global email. So probably you need to take uh, great care of uh, the, 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 the match between the user and the, the, what, what you use as user in email and what you use in assignment. So if this key I'm using to sign is for this account and I want to sign commit in this repository because this repository is a demo, it's a test demo account I'm using to record this video, I need to change the email for this repository. You can do simply with git config dash dash local user email yubikey test demo outlook.com. So I can now create another commit. Now I've done simply another commit um, using uh, the new configuration. So now I can uh, look at the signature again. Now everything seems to be a little more um, correct. So the sign is for this email and the author is this email. So the two of this match, and this is one thing you should um, check when you use your, um, your GPG uh, key for commit. Uh, usually it's not a problem because you usually have only one user um, to get up with one email, but if you have multiple email, um, you probably need to pay attention and you can change the key you said for each repository um, using a different um, key for option inside each specific repository. As you can see, if I dump the config global, you see that I have the user signing key and there's also a, um, there's also a misspelled setting. And that is the key I'm using for all repository. If you have multiple email and you use multiple repository, you need to uh, set the email and the signing key that match for each of your repository. So inside the situation, all the email, uh, the email and the GPG um, key correspond. And without any surprise, now the third commit is verified. And as you can see, uh, the the icon has changed because I mistakenly use, and I, I did on purpose for this video because th that's one question that get asked a lot. And um, this is unverified because th this has no information because there's no signing information in this commit. This is unverified because uh, it's made on this account that as an email and uh, you have a PGP key that is not present in that account. So it's a typical situation where someone, it's, it's like someone tried to forge a commit for this account that has my um, primary email. So this is unverified because it indeed has a, a sign, but the sign is not assigned to this user. So what I've done is I change to my real user and now I have this user with the correct email associated to that specific GPG. And so I can press verified and GitHub happily tell me that this is a real verified commit made by this user and the GPG key ID and everything is correct. Thanks for watching and I'm waiting you for the next video in my YubiKey series. Bye bye.